Hey guys, I'm Dimension Trump and today I'll be doing my top 5 favourite um, courses from the first wave of um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC courses. Now, the Deluxe Course Booster DLC courses thing have been released, what, a few, I think a few days ago? And I'll just be going over some of my favourite that has been um, shown off in um, the pack. So for number five is Shroom Ridge. Now, what I what I like about this course is um, mainly to do with all the sharp corners and stuff like that, and and all of the obstacles um, that you that you have to uh, avoid. And I really do like how um, you have to like try and think of um, of when it comes to the um, sharp corners. You have to think, okay, um, you try and think, okay, how am I going to try and like you know get across this corner without bumping into the cars and stuff like that and how am I trying to go and get try and collect this item or items and and I do like how the like with other with like with other courses that have that's road or track or something like that. You've got different different motor vehicles like buses, cars, that kind of thing. And there are sometimes um the cars that have the surfboard things on top of them so you can like do trick shots um or tricks off them which I think is quite fun and I think it's I think it out of out of the ones so far this is it's really fun and really enjoyable and I think it's somewhat interesting to play on. For number four is Tokyo Blur. Now what I like about this course is the way like with um one of the other tracks that I'm going to talk about later um is that it um, uh, after every lap um, the course changes and that means you can um, go from I think in the first lap you do one um, specific course and then the next uh, the next lap will be another way and then the third one would be um, the final area and I think there's a fun way of playing the game or playing the course because you get to see how to basically play through the basically going through new locations um and going and doing you know different things playing through the course and and I think taking a course from Mario Kart Tour is interesting because that game is fun um but I don't think a lot of people will play um Mario Kart Tour a lot and so I think for the two Mario Kart Tour courses that are in the f this first wave, I think adding them to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is an interesting way of having, let's say, new fans um, experience some courses from, uh, from Mario Kart Tour. For number three is Paris Promenade, Promenade? Promenade. I think it's Promenade, and this is, again, uh, another Mario Kart Tour um, course, and what I like about this course is mainly due to the final lap. Now, um, both Tokyo Blur and Paris Promenade both act the same way in terms of um, their laps, but with um, Paris Promenade, when it comes to the final lap, um, you can do the entire course backwards. And I think that's a really interesting way of playing the game, or playing the course, because you don't really get to see a lot of um, Courses, or a lot of um, tracks in in uh, from the Mario Kart games that I've played, and where you go backwards on the final lap in terms of um, you going through the same course, but to but sort of mirrored. It's kind of like um, playing in mirror mode, sort of in um, in on one hundred fifty cc mirror mode, and that's a sort of interesting thing. That's kind of interesting because. We are basically playing the course, but backwards and stuff like that. And I, th I kind of hope I hope that that in like you know future Mario Kart games, um, there are more tracks like that in which you play the entire course backwards or something like that. And that'd be something interesting to see, be to proceed done. And I think Paris Promenade, Promenade should be a template in terms of how courses should um, have some other laps be done backwards or something like that.
for number two is Coconut Mall. Now, I think Coconut Mall is an interesting um, course because I think it does, um, I think with, because I have played the original um, Wii version a bit, um, I think Elephant's House, like years, to, years and years ago, and I think um, Coconut Mall with the new update to Mario Kart, uh, to the Mario Kart Del um, Deluxe gameplay, I think it suits it quite well. Especially when it comes to the part towards the end when um, you can glide over um, some of the track and, uh, and that's, that's something quite cool. I also like how um, how the um, the escalators now have been changed from the um, normal steps to the different coloured arrows. That's quite interesting and quite cool. And I think the music is is quite nice because you know it's a classic. It's a it's a classic tune. And I think it's quite fun, and I do like how this is just somewhat interesting, and it's sort of like sort of like like a revamp of an old track in in the new um, in Mario Kart Deluxe. And for number one is Ninja Hideaway. Now this is a new track built from the from built from scratch, and I feel like this is the best out of out of the tracks we got so far, the best one, mainly because it's got the sort of um, it's, it's basically a really cool track and I do like how um, there's like one part of the track I found by accident in which if you go, um, I think it's before the bamboo bit, if you uh, hit a specific wall or something um, I don't know, I don't really remember what I did but I think if you hit a specific wall at a certain angle you can take a quick shortcut and just glide over to where the bamboo is um, that's, um, that can either um, make you go on the beams, or you can just go below the beams um, before you go on the roof. And I do like everything that it, that has in the um, that the hideaway has, like um, about halfway or so. You can see some bananas um, on the ground, but then they become shy guys, and that's that, that's really interesting because like it's just it's just adding to that atmosphere on the track and. I do like how you fight your on one minute you're on the roof, the next minute you're in the hideaway building area itself, and just going over like you know, on top of the beams, going underneath um, these um, platform tile things that can either um, become that can help you with certain things like making you go either up into the um, upper areas of the track or going at the lower edge of the track and I think it's a really nice fun sort of track to play on and I think it's really fun. So that's been my top five favourite uh, tracks from the first wave of um, the TLC tracks for Mario Kart Deluxe. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.